MathThroughStories.org Writing Competition. Are you interested in writing your own math read aloud type mini book? Are you 8 to 15 years old? Do you want the pride, glory, and feeling of accomplishment of writing your own awesome story? Do you want a prize of 100 pounds? 832 RMB, more or less. Then enter into this contest. Come to room 312 on Thursday, March 2nd at 1130 a.m. to find out more about the competition. Or reach out to Mr. Ginsburg, PYP Math Coordinator, or Ms. Ginsburg, PYP Literacy Coordinator. See you there. This is my eighth year at ISMS. I joined in 2015 and yeah, it's been lots of fun. What do you teach slash what do you do at ISMS? So my role has changed over the last seven and a half years. When I came to ISMS, I was a music teacher and I taught grade six, seven, eight and nine right at the start. And then along the way, I became the MYP coordinator, so I look after the academics for grade 6 to 10. And I'm that bridge between the IB and the school, and so I inform teachers about what the IB is thinking, what's happening next, and ideas like that. And currently, I teach grade 9 music, and I'm also the person in charge of the community project. What's the biggest change of you over the years? This can be on work or on yourself. Okay, so I think in terms of work, the biggest change for me is having a much broader perspective on education and how all the pieces fit together. For the teacher in the classroom, it's a lot about teaching the students, getting them to understand what they need to understand and helping them be successful. And while that's happening, I'm in the background making sure that what, how they're teaching, what they're teaching, fits in with the framework of the IB. Okay, how do you balance work and life? Work and life. Um, I have a very specific way of balancing that. Um, every morning at approximately 5, 5.30, I'm out for a run. So I do a good couple of kilometers in the morning and that's how I start my day. So I start my day some exercise, get the blood pumping, maybe think about work a little bit, but that's how I start my day and that's good for me to maintain that balance because work can be stressful and it is at times, so you've got to seek opportunities to be balanced. Okay, what is the core reason that makes the long journey with five minutes? Um, I think for me... What hobbies do you have outside of your work? So outside of work, um, I'm part of a band with some of the teachers and we practice once a week and we try and have as many gigs as possible. So being part of that side of my life, exploring my, me as a musician. Can we all play? Do we do that one again? Ask the question again. What hobbies do you have outside of school? So outside of school, I'm part of a, a band with some of the teachers and we practice once a week. And for me, that's so good to be able to explore myself 
as a musician that side of who I am and share that love of music with others. What do you like about your office or your working environment here that time? Okay, let's go for working environment. Um, I like my working environment here at Iceland mostly because I get to be around people. Um, I feel that I'm a, a gregarious person, very sociable. So speaking to teachers regularly, um, seeing them improve um, in their teaching skill and knowledge of the IB ends up being for me my great one of my greatest pleasures. Um, also visiting classrooms, seeing students. Um, succeed and struggle through work and to get to the point of understanding um, and seeing them sometimes fail but then get up and try again. That's also really good to see about my work environment. Um, I think at the same time working from grade 6 to 10 and overseeing that whole space means I get to work with a lot of different people as well. Um, this year I have the pleasure of having Another person work with me as coordinator to look after grade 6 to 8. So also working with Mr. Dorsey in terms of holding up his knowledge but also helping him.